This video is sponsored by Gravitas, founded by UK Spurs fan and fragrance YouTuber Mr Smelly1977 and is handmade in England, a classic fragrance for modern times. Get your bottle now, link in the description below. What's going on people? We are Tottenham TV here. We are here at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, North London Derby weekend. As you can see, that massive stand behind me, the Park Lane stand, where it's going to host two thousand hopefully very loud Spurs fans on the weekend for the North London derby. I hope all of you are getting up for it because me and my brother are very very excited. Um, there's been a lot of talk in the coming in the past week or so how Arsenal are coming in very scared to this North London derby and you know Tottenham's tails are up top of the league. I think this is the first time in my lifetime that we played Arsenal being top of the league. Yeah, I think so. I can't remember another time. I can't remember another time. Obviously, we had that moment where we went top when Harry Kane scored yeah. that goal from uh, just outside the box, which was a great one of the great North London derby goals. Um, but other than that, yeah, I can't I can't think of a time we've gone to, uh, into North London derby top of the league. I can't remember a time we've never been 14th in yeah. going into a North London derby. So this must be one of the biggest gaps in Tottenham's favour, I think ever in definitely the Premier League era yeah definitely coming into a North London derby mm. um, coming into the game what's the team news yeah so we know that uh, Jose Mourinho uh, said that on Thursday that we had a few doubts Vinicius Kane Regulon and Toby Odevirold we don't know um, for sure who's going to be fit out of those four but um, and Lamella as well we know he's going to be out but it sounds like Kane's going to be fit it sounds like Toby's going to have a good chance of playing. Regulon's going to be fit and Vinicius should also um, be fit. So it sounds like that those also all going to be minor problems. But uh, yeah, let's see what we think he's going to play. All right, so let's get into the predicted lineup. We're going for a 4-3-3 formation as yeah. we've liked to see uh, throughout the season so far. So in goal is obviously going to be Hugo Lloris. Thank God. Oh, yeah. thank God. <laughs> thank Hugo God. Lloris. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Do you reckon Gazaniga has a chance of making the Europa Maybe. League squad in January? Maybe, the way things are going, because that performance by Joe Hart on Thursday night was horrific and uh, it really brought uh, all the fears to light of how bad Joe Hart actually is yeah. and it's harsh to say because he hasn't been terrible since he's come to Tottenham when he's played but you know you've got to say five long range goals he's conceded I think already and uh, there's something definitely a weakness there and the way he dealt with those two long range shots on Thursday was poor but look this is pretty delightful. This isn't Joe Hart bashing. So, look, Lloris. <laughs> Lloris. Lloris in goal. Going to be in goal. And, um, I'm, uh, look, he's been one of the best in the yeah, season. Look, I, and I, that save, by the way, against Chelsea was one of the most underrated saves oh, of the was, season. We both said it at the time Under how amazing it was. People are not. Amount. I think it's one of, the, one of the best saves of the season. It's so underrated. All right, look. So, Lloris in goal. Right back. It's got to be Serge Aurier, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Aurier comes in. Doherty had a poor performance on Thursday and Aurier's been absolute class against City and Chelsea was fantastic. He's going to have either Aubameyang or Saka to deal with, but I believe he has the, he'll, he'll he have the, if had, the way he's dealt with the wingers of uh, Chelsea and City, this should be no problem for him. Left back, uh, Sergio Regulon. Yep. He should be fit enough. Um, so Sergio Regulon is surely going to give Bellerin a hard, torrid time. On I'm looking weekend. forward to that matchup, the Spanish matchup um, between the fullbacks. Bellerin hasn't had the best of seasons. Regulon has had a flying start to his Spurs career. And uh, look, I, I feel like Bellerin's going to think he can get, he's, he's going to have confidence in himself that he can get the better of Regulon. But don't underestimate Reggie because if you do, you're going to get burnt. And that's what I'm thinking might happen on Sunday. Um, the centre-back positions, you're going to see the return of Toby Alderweireld. That's the question. That's the question. I think we are. I think we are. I think Jose said you're gonna, it's a good chance he's going to play um, or a good chance he's going to be, be fit. available. He said a good chance he's going to be available. I think he plays. I think he plays. He you hasn't been so? out for long. Uh, I think his fitness shouldn't be a problem. But if he's, if he obviously, look, if he is um, kind of a doubt or he's, if he's not 100%, then yeah, I've got no qualms about putting Roden in. If, yeah, if Alderweireld doesn't play, I play Joe Roden. Obviously. I think uh, that's or no Tanganga, maybe. No, 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 no. You play Roden. You play Roden. He kept, okay. keeps a clean sheet against Chelsea on his debut. You play him next game. I know. Right, look, we're, not, we're not playing. We're, 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 for argument's sake, let's go for Toby Alderweireld. Eric Dyer. Dyer, of course, he comes in. Although, yeah. Dyer yeah, knows what it is to play against Arsenal. Scored at the Emirates last season, was it? A couple of seasons Two ago. Two seasons yeah. ago. Uh, so, and, and he shushed the Emirates like like that. So that was brilliant. He's going to have plenty of passion, uh, Dyer. And he's not going to have, whoever they play up top, He, I'm sure he's going to be aggressive and he's not going to give him a sniff. And I'm looking forward to a leadership, a cap, you know, yeah. not captain for him, but a leader. A captain leadership without form. the armband. Exactly. I'm looking forward to that from Dyer. He's got captains all over the pitch. And because talk. he, not only is he passionate about like he knows about first of all North London derby he knows how to he's passionate about that game but 
always with Spurs, right, when people write us off, he's like one of the people to say, like, be careful what you say, yeah? Be careful what you're talking about. Mm. Be careful calling us Spurs team. Yeah. And he's always he's always like that. So people writing, people saying, oh, you know, North London Derby form goes out the window. Dyer will be like, just be careful what you say. Yeah. <laughs> mm. uh, CDM, Pierre. Pierre. Uh, no the best Pierre in North London, that's, that's for sure. That definitely this season. No, no, uh, you know what? When people said that, yeah, at the beginning of the season, it was, it was joking. It was joking oh, best Pierre. But he actually is. <laughs> he actually is the best Pierre in North London. I'm not even memeing. I'm not even joking anymore. Aubameyang has been uh, just overtaken. And that's yeah. facts. Until Aubameyang starts turning up, it's facts at the moment. Yeah, pure facts. Mm. Um, in the other centre mid positions, we're going to go for Tongi and Dombele, who I really think can grab this game by the scruff of the neck. Yeah. I agree with, you know, with Arsenal likely to go with um, a midfield two of probably El Elneny and maybe um, Xhaka or maybe Ceballos. I, I don't, to be honest, we could put any of those three together. Yeah. I think they, I, I anticipate them going back to a back five because that's what's been more stable for them. Um, and I think Jose will know that as well. Yeah, but if they do go to a back five or a four for three, whatever it is, I think Undombele is going to have a big part to play in this game. The way he just drifts past some of the best defensive midfielders in this little... The way he dealt with Kante and Rodri in the past two games has been something short Thiago of Silva was bouncing off him as well. It's unbelievable. You, they couldn't deal with him. And to think, you think Arsenal's midfielders are going to have more of a chance than them two? I don't think so. So yeah. if he can deal with them two, I think he can deal whatever Arsenal got to throw at him. So I'm looking, really looking forward to a Undombele masterclass. And a long this, would this be his first performance against Arsenal? Must be. Might yeah, be he didn't far. play in the North London derby yeah. last year. Don't think he played neither of them at the Emirates either. Uh, I'm think. not sure. Well, we like drew 2-2. I don't think he did. Maybe he played he a couple of minutes, but I don't think he I played. I remember Lacelso came on. I don't yeah. think he played. Okay. So, so yeah, yeah his first taste of a North London derby. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Alongside him, Musa Sissoko. Yeah. He's got to really stamp his authority in this game. I agree. He's got to give, you know, give no shit. You know what I mean? He's just got to do what he's been doing the past couple of games. Really um, give a good... Uh, balance to the team and look if we are if we if we does get to like 60th 70th minute and we're either chasing or not winning the game then look we always got the option of bringing on Lacelso. Yeah. can bring on for for either Sissoko or Ndombele we you know he's a good option to have it's a shame that Ndombele Lacelso, and Hoybier really didn't turn up on uh, Thursday because they might have had a chance of all playing today mm. on on Sunday I always felt that we needed Sissoko in this game kind of though well if they play a back five there's a question mark of whether we do but yeah. um, I guess if they got wing backs then yeah Sissoko is going to need that energy to help out Aurier yeah. or the wing backs so look I think Sissoko for sure starts on Sunday, no doubt about it. And uh, he, look, he, we know, we've seen in the past few games what a great job he does for the team. And uh, so, so I've got no qualms about Sissoko coming back in. Uh, left wing, obviously, Hume Min Son. No doubt about it. Up front, obviously, Harry Kane. So yep. those two pick themselves. Now, the right side, we're thinking either Bergwijn or Gareth Bale. And I guess Lucas, I guess, has a shout yeah, as well. Lucas was shocking on Thursday He was, night. he was. But, you know, but, but Bergwijn you know, came on, looked good. Bale was a bit of a half and half performance, wasn't you gotta it? You got to say though, Lucas against Arsenal last year turned really turned up, putting yeah. a great performance. Yeah, um, in a four four two. Yeah, in a four four two. I don't think we'll play four four two on Sunday, but Lucas Moore did turn up. So I guess there's always a chance. And Mourinho's like, look, you know how to play in these kind of games, so I'm going to put you in. I think favourites have got to be Steven Bergvijn, and um, I think uh, look, the thing is with Gareth Bale. He's played in how many? He's played a lot of North London derbies in his first career. He scored five goals. In North, yeah. Well, that's one of the highest. Yeah, but look, we're not talking about the same Gareth Bell than we saw we're back not, then. But he knows what a North London derby is all about. You know what I mean? Yeah. So Gareth Bell, there's a slight. That's also why there's a slight chance he might play Gareth Bell um, because he kind of just might show that passion and knowing what a North London derby is about. But I think the favourite has got to be Bergwijn. Look, I, I would love to see Bell to play because it means Jose really believes in him, thinks he can do well in the game. But and I, he has been improving. Bell. He has slightly, but I think that that Bergwijn um, has done enough to, to keep his spot for this game. I think Bergwijn has been quite solid past yeah. few games. And he came on on Thursday night and looked really solid as well. He did, again. yeah. Against Chelsea and City, did a really good job for the team, was looking sharp. So I think Bergwijn, I think Bergwijn retains his place. And I've got no doubt, I've got no worries about that. All right, so let's run through that lineup. So that's Hugo Lloris in goal, Regulon left back, <laughs> Aurier right back, Toby Alderweireld and Eric Dyer at the centre back positions. Pierre Emil Hoybiag, the best Pierre in London. I'll tell you that right now. Alongside Musa Sissoko and Tongi Yundombele, with Hyun Min Son on the left wing, Steven Bergwijn on the right wing, and Harry Kane up top. Scoreline: three one Spurs. Three one Spurs. Three, one. I'm going 2-0. I think Arsenal, the scum, are going to come and really uh, bring their A game. I think they're going to play their best game of the season, but it won't be enough. I still think we're going to nick it. We're going to bring the three points back to Tottenham. 
Well, the three point's going to stay in Tottenham. Stay in Tottenham. <laughs> Let's put it that way. But anyway, thanks for joining us. Like, subscribe and comment. And as always, come, come on, on, you Spurs. Spurs.